Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Wiener Neustadt in Austria where Diamond Aircraft has its headquarters. You know, here at Diamond, Michael Feinig, who's the director here, likes to say that it's not one thing, but one not. And that's the idea behind this new model of the DA-42, which is called the V-1. What Diamond has done here is a lot of small drag improvements, including some uh, considerable improvements in the engine cowling to improve the performance of this airplane. Now here's uh, Ingmar Meyerbuck to tell us about some of the specifics and then we'll take a flight demo in the airplane. Uh, with the V1 version of the 42, we have uh, two major improvements, I would uh, say. And one is the, the drag reduction, which gives more speed, uh, better performance in general. And the other thing is the redesign of the vertical tail, including the rudder. And the, the aim for this modification was to reduce takeoff distance. Um, which was achieved quite well, I would say, because we have uh, reduced the takeoff distance ground fall by uh, around 100 meters compared to the standard 42. And uh, I say that the measure to achieve it was to, was to reduce the minimum control speed of this airplane by, by in total eight knots. One big part of the drag reduction uh, program was to reduce the cooling drag of the engines. Uh, this is a, yeah, a big part of the total uh, package uh, of drag reduction. And we achieved that by rearranging almost every component in, in the engine compartment. And also the outer shape of the cowling was uh, modified um, so that we, in the end, had a better cooling efficiency of every component. In addition to a lot of drag reduction, the two Austro A300s that power the V1 have also been improved. They have higher altitude and RPM limits than the previous engines did, and this translates to better performance. On our brief test flight on a blustery Austrian day, we recorded 1,300 feet per minute in initial climb on a turbulent day. The V1 held a strong climb rate well into the high teens. Cruise numbers are certainly better than the DA-42NG, which was the first airplane to carry the Austros. We recorded 194 knots true airspeed on 90% power. That's about 8 gallons per side. Throttled back to 6 gallons per side, the V1 will cruise at 174 knots. Single engine performance is good, with one engine cage at 16,000 feet, the V1 will still climb at nearly 300 feet per minute. You could cross the Rockies on one engine. The V1 was expected to be certified in early April and is on display at Aero in Friedrichshafen. Find a full report on the airplane in the May issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine at aviationconsumer.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching.